Welcome back to K Nation. It's an exciting time for KU basketball, but it's always an exciting always time for exciting KU basketball. <laughs> and we got a guy here who loves to talk KU hoops. Of course, we got Ryan Reinhardt in with the Ain't No Seats podcast out of KC. We got to start with the obvious. Reinhardt, Reinhardt, we yeah. spelled a bit. Not <laughs> related. <laughs> but not, not related. Okay. We spelled yeah. it a bit differently, but we do want to talk Jayhawks. So I guess to start with the Ain't No Seats pod, you had Devontae Graham on. Yeah. Tell us about that experience and, you know, favorite memories when uh, DT was in town. It's fun. I mean, that was part of the reason we wanted to start this podcast years ago is because we wanted to see if we could get players like him to mm -hmm. tell maybe stories that you don't always hear on mm -hmm. traditional media outlets. So he kind of opened up, told some fun stories that I don't think people had heard. So Devonte, super entertaining guy, and it was fun to kind of see him let loose a little bit. Yeah, give us the, the art of podcasting, if you will. How do you guys go about, you got to build a relationship to even get those guys on the show, but then, like you said, you also can talk about some things that maybe we can't talk about in the local news, right? How do you yeah. go about open, opening those guys up and getting them to maybe to give you some new stories and stuff that people don't know? Yeah, I mean, sometimes we'll just lead with that. When we start to talk with them about coming on, a lot of times they'll know who we are just from Twitter or mm -hmm. whatever, and We'll say, hey, we might ask some things that you maybe haven't been asked before, but that's kind of the goal of it. And sometimes they're excited for that. They want to kind of um, not just do the same interview that they've been doing mm. for years. So they're usually pretty pretty open and, and they have fun with it. Those are the best ones. That yeah, have fun with I, I want to jump into the actual basketball at some point, but real quick, if you have a favorite never before seen story from, from your podcast. <sighs> that is tough. Um, I don't know. I'd probably say, I don't know if it's never before seen, but Tyshawn Taylor early on when we first launched it, he was kind of our first big guest and he came on and he really just, uh, he didn't hold back. He told a lot of stories and that's kind of what helped get us off the ground and grow the following that we have. And so he was just so fun to hear him reflect on his time at KU, tell behind the scenes stories about Bill Self and, and stuff like that. So that was fun. Yeah, I think we could talk about podcasting all day. We probably will do more <laughs> yeah. off, off air. But yeah. uh, as far as basketball, KU's going to have a chance to play their offense through a big man this year. We, we know Bill Self has done that and likes to do that, but they haven't in a while. Mm -hmm. Are you pretty fired up to see what it looks like for the offense to run through a seven foot one, seven foot two center? I'm very excited. I mean, if you think back to early Bill Self days, that was everything. It's the mm -hmm. high low, you're going through, you know, Darnell Jackson, Darrell Arthur, Cole Aldridge, the, the classic names. It's been a while yeah. since we've done that. So it'll be fun to see how it works. I think getting a guy that, like you said, seven foot one, average 20 and 10, um, to go back to that using him is probably the best path uh, you could take. So we'll see. New guy, hasn't played under Bill, but I'm excited to see how he gels playing under Bill's system. Mm -hmm. so. Jayhawk men's basketball isn't necessarily a Kentucky or Duke that has one and done players, but you know, you got a lottery pick freshman like Grady Dick last year, but an old team coming back this year. Hunter Dickinson's right. a, a five-year guy, you know, Dewan's back. What, how's it going to be different with old guys on the team? I think if you look back, Bill Self has absolutely succeeded more with experience. Yeah. And so that's what I'm excited about. Dewan has now been a starter for two years. This will be his third year playing legit minutes. And KJ got good minutes last year. So I think the experience we have with McCuller, um playing in Bill's system, plus you add in some new guys, it could be a really, really good year just because... Once you learn playing under Bill Self, it definitely helps mm -hmm. over time. No, it's going to be exciting. And, and you mentioned KJ there. KJ is going to have an opportunity to play a different role. He was kind of the five by default last year, but he, I don't think he's meant to play the five. So we might see him open up even more, given mm -hmm. that Hunter can play the five and KJ can do a variety of different things. Yeah, KJ, I mean, he stepped up huge. We needed him mm -hmm. to do what he did last year, but type of player he is, I think he's going to be way better suited playing the four, um, having a little more freedom using his athleticism, playing where he's comfortable. So I'm excited to see him fit where he's probably more naturally yeah, supposed to be. Definitely. All right. Yeah, th that's all the time we got. We appreciate you coming on. Yeah. Ryan Reinhardt with the Ain't No Seats podcast. Make sure to tune in.